Well organized, very comfortable encampment here. Thank you very much, Mr. Ryan. I'm going to ask if there's anybody who wants to get out of here. What do you suppose that is? A private party over there? Do you want to leave? Well, I don't want to be seen talking to you now, but don't go out that gate without me. I'll give you a story that'll blow this place apart. Where do you keep those lockboxes, Joe? Out in the jungle. On the other side of the building to eat. Uh-huh. Well, why don't you just stash our friend there for a while? So this is over, okay? Aren't they wonderful? Oh, God. How are you? I'm all right. I'm very busy, but all right. Why did you come here? Do you believe I'm still your wife? I love you. I mean, it's been so long, I thought you know, you'd have met somebody else, maybe even gotten married. David, haven't you had enough of this? I can help you. You can go back and be a real doctor. Doctor, don't you understand what's happened to me? I'm a real human being. I've actually saved lives. I've cured people. I've stopped pain. I've, I've worked miracles, and Jim could fake a thousand healing ceremonies. And I've done it with these hands, with this mind, and with my body and my soul. We're building something beautiful here, Sheila. If only our enemies would leave us alone. Oh, David. Don't use that on me. You're not alive. You're living a memory. I am this moment. And I have been from the first moment I heard Jim's voice, and I will be until the last moment I hear him speak. These attacks on me are all lies. Every leader with a vision has to go through that. Tell me about these real estate transactions. It's really very simple. Members of my flock make contributions to the temple. There's nothing wrong with that. Not one of them is out on the street. They've all been provided for. What about these claims we've heard of sexual abuses? Hasn't every leader, every prominent man in the world been subjected to such outrageous gossip? This includes names, places, dates. Seems like more than gossip. A simple gospel have I created so many enemies. 
Why do people hate me when all I've ever tried to do was good? So painful. So painful. Mr. Jones, I am merely trying to find out what's going on here on behalf of almost a thousand of my constituents who happen to be members of your flock. They're the constituents of God and Jim Jones. Children, our fine, outstanding congressman has come all the way down here to find out if I'm a sex maniac. To find out if I'm holding you prisoner. I want you to tell them what our lives are like. And after you told them the truth about what our lives are like here, perhaps they'll go away and leave us in peace. Notice the guards. I think we ought to get the hell out of here. Here's my flock. Talk to them all you want. Ask them if I've destroyed their lives by leading them from poverty, neglect, and anguish. I think we've seen enough, Mr. Jones. I'm ready to go back to Port Kaituma with those of your group that want to go with us. No, 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 no. I want you to stay. Marcy, find beds for the esteemed congressional investigator and his assistant. May I have your attention, please, everyone? When we leave here tomorrow, any of you that want to go with us will be escorted back to the United States in comfort and safety. Any more of you who want to go with us should step forward right now. They'll tell about us now. Don't let them go. We can keep them here. We're just a handful of people. And what difference does that make? They'll be back, you know, with troops to wipe us out. And we can stop them. We can stop them now before they have a chance to hurt us. I'm not going to let them do this to you. I'm not going to let them do it. It's too late. Just let them go. Please do something to protect yourself. Something. Tell me what to do. Tell me. Don't hurt them. Do something. It's all over. It's all over. I've been betrayed. Send David to me. I hope he'll well. Ask everybody to come to the pavilion. I have to talk to them. Bring me my family. Bring me my family.
Let's all come to the pavilion for one final moment together. Huh. Sounds like Dad wants us to have another one of his loyalty tests. It's time to leave all our fears and frustrations behind. It's time to take a final step together to eternal life. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you all. That's right. Bring your families, everyone come to the pavilion. That's right. I want all my children to come to the pavilion for one final moment. Hurry, hurry, my children, please hurry. In spite of all that I've tried, a handful of our people with their lies have made our life impossible. There's no way to detach ourselves from what's happened today. We're sitting here waiting on a powder keg. Hurry, hurry, my children. Please hurry. We have been so betrayed. We've been so terribly betrayed. Are we all here? How very much I've tried to give you a good life. been said by the greatest prophets since time immemorial. No man takes my life from me. I lay my life down. If we can't live in peace, then let's die in peace. Now, now what's going to happen here in a matter of a few minutes is that one of our people is going to shoot the people who left. I didn't tell him to do it. I didn't plan it, but I know it's going to happen. That's just as plain as I can tell you. And I've never lied to you. I never have lied to you. So my opinion is, you be kind to children. You be kind to seniors. And you take the potion like they did in ancient Greece and step over quietly. Because we're not committing suicide. It's a revolutionary act. The people in San Francisco will not be idle over this. They'll not take our deaths in vain, you know. Jenny, 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 Jenny. What about Russia? Is it too late for Russia? It's too late. It's too late. Those people are out there. They're out there with their guns. I can't control them. And once they kill anybody, you think, you, you think Russia is going to want us with all this stigma? Before we had value, but now we have no value to them. Well, I feel like that as long as there's life, there's hope. That's my faith. Sooner or later, that hope runs out because everybody dies. I never saw anybody yet who didn't die. Now, I, I'd like to choose my own kind of death for a change because I am tired of being tormented to hell. That's what I am tired of. Tired, tired. Yeah, but, Dad. Yeah, but, but, Dad, I'd like to choose mine, too. It's not that I'm afraid to die. I know you're not. I know you're not. It's just that I look around at 